ladies and gentlemen of the internet, it's RJ, and today we will be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Figure Arts Super Vegeta, or Super Saiyan Vegeta Renewal, or the only non-shitty Vegeta they've ever released. Starting with articulation, we have the tried and true ball peg, and it's nice and creaky, so you get the movement. Ball joint at the base of the neck as per usual. The shoulder joints are kind of weird. You have the usual ball joint, but they're a little bit more stiff since you have this butterfly hinge right here. His giant mushroom shoulders have a swivel. Double hinged elbows. Ball hinge wrists. Now this could have been a ball joint, but because it's, it's Bandai, it has to be more complicated. So it's this weird series of hinges Except functionally it's only one hinge. I don't know why that's there. We have a swivel at the waist, which is pretty nice. As a matter of fact, that's a ball joint, but it's functionally a swivel. Hinge for the hips as well as a swivel, no ball joints here. We have these pieces right here to cover up the gap. Another swivel for the thighs. Double hinge knees. The ankles fucking suck. We have one ball joint that doesn't really doesn't really work very well, but it's most certainly there. And then we have the toe hinge. Now moving on to detail, this is pretty much the definitive SH Figuarts Vegeta, or rather, just the definitive super articulated Vegeta. Now the hair is a very nice vibrant yellow with some detailing in it, looks pretty good as opposed to the premium color one where he's really shiny and there's no detailing. Face is pretty much perfect, nice shading, pretty good colors. This is not the default face, but he looks smug as shit, so I thought it might as well be the default face. A little bit of slop right here, but oh well. Got the nice color for the jumpsuit, some weird brown shading right here. I don't know what's up with that, but I, I guess... I don't know what I guess, but it's there. The one thing the original has over this one is that the armor was a little bit more glossy and there was some panel lining. On the back, pretty much the same exact deal as on the front. Nice reta retailing. Nice detailing for the boots. You have some wrinkling. Same as on the gloves. So overall, Massive improvement over the first figure. It actually looks like the character instead of a very grumpy man-child trying to cosplay as Vegeta, so that's pretty good. For accessories, we have this pair of Final Flash slash ungodly sassy hands. A pair of uh, fun time bingo hands that I am too uncoordinated to pose without a stand. Hey, he didn't tip over this time. Pair of hands for his signature pose that I didn't put him in because he's gonna fucking tip over again. One right thumbs up hand for the Super Vegeta pose, namely because he's Super Vegeta. A pair of crossed arms that are a pain in the ass to put in, so I'm just gonna display them like this. And finally, four different faces, my favorite of which being the smug Vegeta face. Which is all of them, but I meant this one. For packaging, here we have a little bit of a box. Much more professional display than most of the other boxes in this line. Here we have the name of the figure, some promotional pictures. It's just displayed much more nicely than usual, but it's the usual fare as far as content is concerned. It's a fucking Christmas miracle. There's no Comic Sans anywhere to be seen on the entire box. As is customary, here's the bottom. It's the same pictures on the front, but not on the front, just in case you couldn't tell. And there's nothing on the top. For scaling, here we have the Man of the Hour with some other Dragon Ball figure arts. Here you see his predecessor that I'm going to knock over on purpose because it's not a very good figure. So overall, this is an absolutely phenomenal release. Not even for Bandai standards, just in general. You have a nice wide array of accessories, the figure itself looks excellent, the articulation is very nicely engineered, so it just goes to raise the question, that's English, but anyway, just raises the question, 
How is the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta released the same exact year so fucking terrible? It uses the same exact body pretty much as a figure released in 2011, which is pretty good. That really shows that they're in the game for the premium release. Meanwhile, this is a general release and it fucking murders every single other Vegeta they've released prior. And it costs less because it's not a web exclusive. But enough of shitting on the other figures. If you're a fan of the character, you just like shit that looks cool. Get this figure. I can't recommend it enough.